Today we're going to look at the 16 benefits of using Rank IQ for not only keyword research, but how to optimize your blog post or a website page for a keyword phrase that you want to rank for. This is the most powerful tool I can find on the internet. It costs like $49 a month. It is amazing at what it does. So I wanted to kind of go through it. I wrote an entire blog post on seorealestatewagon.com. And you can find that under blog. And this is this cool picture right here. So like you're sitting on the beach, checking it out. Then I go through a detailed thing. So I have a table of contents right here. And all these headings here will help you get further down the page. So learn whatever you want to learn about Rank IQ as a software product to use with your blog posts and your web page content. You'll learn what Rank IQ is. You'll sh it'll show you how if you type in, I did a one for Rank IQ as a keyword. It showed me I needed a grade of A++. Yeah, it's like high school. I get it or <laughs> college. I need at least 2,400 words. Sometimes more is better. Sometimes less is better. I have 10 competitors, but it'll rank very fast if I follow all the steps. And that's what I want. I want it to rank fast. I don't want to spend a lot of time blogging and never see any results. And so what Rank IQ does is it shows you the lowest competition keywords that you can write content for. I have content. I'm in a real estate industry. Uh, with one of my businesses, and I rank over Zillow, Realtor.com, Homes.com. It's amazing. I'm not going to tell you exactly what keywords those are because my competitors will be watching this video for sure. Anyway, um, one of the things it does is does a content analysis topics Google likes in a post or a web page. It'll show you what words it likes the most and I'll show you that in just a second here it does a title analysis of the top 30 titles and in Google they're looking for in order all these words but you can't fit them all in your title because it only goes up to well they say between 47 and 53 there's only 60 characters in a title on a web page or a blog post you got to make sure you're within that. If you go over it, Google, Yahoo, and Bing will cut off the rest of the title so consumers don't see it. So down here, here's the content analysis. So this is what Google's looking for, search engines, and this is uh, for Rank IQ as a keyword phrase. These are all the things in order is what Google is looking for. Brandon Gailey is the uh, creator of it. And then top ranking titles with competition analysis. Now it's done all this extra homework for you. So you can see that the number one is uh, the main site. And this is domain authority. This is page authority, uh, referring domains. Gives you lots of details to look at and ways to evaluate it. Then it grades content. So if you write a blog post, it'll grade it <laughs> with the scale of a to F, don't want an F. And it's always good to look at all of those. You might want to click on each of them and see what they're doing and how you can improve it better on your content. But don't copy their content because it's all copyright infringement. None of us want a copyright penalty or, or a lawsuit from somebody. So here are the 16 benefits of using Rank IQ. And I have them here on this page. This video will be on this page next. If you click on this here, I do get a small commission for promoting their product. It's always helpful. Keeps the website running. Um, it's only $49.95 a month. Really inexpensive because the rest of the alternatives that I have down here range from $99 to $199 a month. Wild. So who benefits most from Rank IQ? You do. If you use it. Some people, I know real estate agents that don't want to touch the internet. They're scared to death of it. And why should I do that? Everyone goes to Zillow. Not everyone does go to Zillow. If you can't get them to your website, then you need to work on it. Proof old blog posts. That's what I'm doing right now. 
I'm going through and seeing which ones have dropped in rankings so I can improve. I got to get my finger here. Improve upon them so they can go back up and I get more traffic. Um, focus on low competition keywords. So I see a lot of uh, people advertising very expensive keywords. I would go after low competition keywords. That might be a, a longer tail keyword that maybe gets a hundred searches a year a hundred visitors a year take that one because if you're the only one in that space you dominate it if you're going one that has a hundred thousand visitors a year you're not going to get there because your website unless it's got a ton of domain authority it's not going to happen so focus on low competition keywords the person who created this product gets 40 million visitors a month to his three blogs that is incredible if I had 40 million visitors a month I'd be sitting on an island right now an island that sounds great oh my gosh keep I'll keep working on it then test your article they have a little content optimizer program so you can test your article that you've written you can try using the AI but remember Google, Yahoo, and Bing have their own AI uh, detectors. It kind of looks like this product here. See, I've written, I pasted my article in here, and it came out as human. But if it's not written properly, it'll come out as AI. It doesn't get ranked as high. So I'm constantly testing everything. Okay, so here's what the content optimizer looks like. Uh, I pasted this code version in. Let me see if I've got a, a live version here. Let's uh, zap part of an article here. Oops. Copy. So, okay. Doing this live. Did I test it live before? Nope. Okay, so I just posted in part of the article here, and you notice it got an F. Well, that's not good. There's only 101 words, so when I post the whole article in here, I'm hoping I get an A, and I've got at least 2,400 words. I may need more. There's no exact word count, but over here on this side, it will show me all the keywords that need to be in the article. There's a list of them, lots of them that have to be in the article because this is, if it's in the article, it has a better chance of ranking the search engine. Is it guaranteed? No, nothing's guaranteed in this life. And then if you put unused, you'll see which ones need to be added. Or if you tag them, there's a video on how to do that and see what the importance of the different keywords are. Let's go back to our article here. Okay, I put the code in here. They showed me how to do it, so I was testing that today. Anyway, keyword uh, research is the key. You gotta make sure that you're writing the right keywords. I see some people that will write uh, market updates for real estate, and they won't make it just for their city, like uh, San Clemente real estate market update. They'll make it a generic topic and I just don't understand who's searching for that. But that's their plan. I can only help people so much. Revamp your content. I'm doing a lot of that right now. Um, you can use, uh, evaluate your art with AI. You can do a lot of different things with AI. But I'm reevaluating my content. I think this part here would be, this part here would take out of the, out of the uh, heading right there because this has nothing to do with art. Anyway, um, it's part of uh, learning and <laughs> making better content. And uh, there's a video on how to use everything, so it makes it easy. And so down below, you'll have the SEO analysis of your, your blog entries. I'm trying to revamp all my content. I've lost a lot of traffic recently, so i got to figure out why. And it has a whole uh, aspect to it. Let me go over here. It says ranking audit so it connects with your which we're not going to do right now 
but it connects with your Google Analytics and it shows you which pages have gone up and which pages have gone down. So I suggest you watch this tutorial video so you can see what traffic is really like. You say, well, gee, I have Google Analytics, it's free. It's not the same. This is a much better tool just for that. Just try it for a month and see how you like it. So let's go back here. Um, SEO, um, like your blueprint to win. Then down below, I have a little summary here. And then he has a free, the person who created uh, Rank IQ has a free, 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 free blogging millionaire podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or Google. I listen to it all the time. You should too. Um, so simply go to SEO. Oops, I'm going to go all the way at the top here. I don't know how that looks on video. So if you go to seorealestatewagon.com and you want to read the article, just click on blog. And it'll be sitting right here. I just revamped it. You can also learn about updating plugins, how to do social uh, sharing on your social media accounts uh, to get traffic for free because we all like free, at least I do. Uh, if you're a real estate agent, I compare Showcase IDX versus IDX Broker. I don't use IDX Broker. There's a reason I don't. So if you're using it, you might want to read that article. A uh, list of cool real estate names. 172 real estate blog ideas. Um, does Google use an AI detector to test content? Yes. So be careful what you're doing online. And I hope that's uh, helpful to you.